Oh. Yay. <laughs>What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code it resolves 10 YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back. We have got Innistrad Midnight Hunt here guys. I cannot wait to jump into this. We're going to kick things off with a really fun, interesting deck. One that I haven't tried yet, but has a lot more support now. Before we jump into this, I just want to remind you, if you're not already, please subscribe. We do have a bundle giveaway going on right now for a Midnight Hunt bundle. If you would like to pick that up, you can subscribe here. You can also join us over on Twitch, Twitter, Discord, or Instagram. All five of them gets you the best possible uh, chance to win. So just a heads up there. Again, September 27th is going to be the date that we uh, announce that winner. But... Today's deck, Azoria Spirits, guys. We've got a lot of new cards coming in to, uh, to Standard with Midnight Hunt. Very excited to try some out, but Spirits, naturally, a great place to be within Estrad. Very, very fun. Lots of good support. We're going to give this one a shot. I have no clue what to expect. I've not played it yet. I wanted to jump in as quickly as we could. We do have a lot of other cards that we've seen before, things like Usher of the Fallen. A 2-1 Spirit Warrior for one fantastic value, but you can tap it, or excuse me, after you attack, you can boast it, which will uh, throw out an extra little 1-1. One, one. Another little 1-mana one 1-1, one, one, we have got Lunark Veteran. Uh, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you actually gain a life, so this is going to give you a little bit of, uh, of longevity against other aggro decks, things like that. This also features Disturb, so you can cast this card from your graveyard transformed for its Disturb cost. Uh, when you do that, it's a 1-1 one, one Spirit Cleric with flying. Whenever another creature you control leaves the battlefield, you gain a life. And if it would be, uh, if it would be put into the graveyard, exile it instead. So this is kind of nice on the front and back end. Uh, Clarion Spirit, one we've seen before. This is going to hopefully spit out a number of them throughout the game. Uh, we can double up pretty easily given that our curve really maxes out at four. Uh, and truthfully, three is kind of what we're looking at. Uh, and so it should be pretty easy to do. Rally the ranks, obviously going to choose Spirit every single time. Uh, but this is going to boost up all the power another new card spectral adversary two one for two flash and flying very very nice when it enters the battlefield you can pay one and a blue any number of times when you pay this cost one or more times put that many one one counters on it then up to that many other target artifacts, creatures, and or enchantments phase out. Uh, now what this allows us to do is not only get a really strong card onto the field, but also potentially protect some of our spells that are already out there. If they get hit with removal, if there's a sweeper incoming, this is going to give us a little bit of protection there, which is nice. Uh, Denik, another nice new card. Lifelink, uh, creatures, or, or excuse me, cards in graveyards can't be the target of spells or abilities. That shuts down a lot of things, especially things like Reanimator. It's a 2-3, and then it does have a Disturb cost as well. Comes back as a 3-2 with flying. Whenever one or more creature cards are put into the graveyard from anywhere, investigate. This ability triggers only once each turn. If it would be put into the graveyard, of course, you exile it as well. So this could get us a little bit of card draw value long term. Skyclave Apparition, we know what this is here for. It's going to get some stuff off of the field for us. And then Patrician Geist, uh, or pa Patriot Bat, uh, a 2-2 two, two for 3 with flying. This is our lord. It gives all of our other spirits uh, plus 1, plus 1. And then spells you cast from the graveyard cost 1 less to cast. That does help with the Disturb cost uh, in particular. Um, obviously, this is a legendary creature. We've only got 3 of them, and this does shut down some things from the graveyards. But uh, really, nothing too crazy. Uh, and then Teferi, who slows the sunset. Four mana, four loyalty planeswalker. Choose up to one target artifact, uh, up to one target creature, and up to one target land. Untap those permanents you control. Tap uh, the chosen permanents you don't control, and then you gain two life. Again, keeping us in the game, moving us forward. Minus two, look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Very nice, sort of like a ish brainstorm kind of adjacent. Uh, n minus seven, you get an emblem with untap all permanents you control during each opponent's untap step, and you draw a card during each opponent's untap step. So very powerful ultimate here. The only tech in the lands, truthfully, is uh, the Cave of the Frost Dragon here, giving us a little man land. We do have Deserted Beach as well. So, guys, this is it. This is our first standard look within a Strahd Midnight Hunt. Let's go ahead. We're going to send this through a few games, see how we do. Let's have some fun. 
All right, guys, here we are. This is, like I said, our very first game, and this is a definite keep. Uh, we do have Monk class here. I forgot to talk about this card, but it's very, very good. Uh, let's, nope, let's do this. Um, you know what? Let's go Luminarch Veteran, or Lunark Veteran, excuse me. This gives us a little life gain, of course. Uh, very curious to see how this pans out. I'm going to favor some of the new cards just to see how they uh, interact on the, on the, uh, board here and things like that. So we'll we'll see how things go. Interesting. Um, we're gonna do this. It's gonna set up some second spells for us. It also gains us a life. We'll see how that actually pans out. Um, I do. We do want to save that spectral adversary. This is kind of a late game play for us. Not really a uh, aggressive play by any means. Uh, right now it would be, well, there are a number of things that would be great. A land would be great, uh, but we didn't get there this time. Whenever this class becomes level two, return target. Okay. Um, I think what we're going to do, hmm. Interesting, interesting. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll throw this out and play and, and say spirit, of course. Uh, and then we can just attack in here. Uh, with the 3-3 three, three. keeps us on the aggressive end. The other option I think is just monk class um, But next turn we can just play the Lunark veteran. Well, that's the trick. We don't have double white We really just need a land here uh, Specifically a white land would be amazing We play that veteran uh, Play the usher or play the monk class. We've got some options here all right, very solid little learn mechanic uh, on Guiding Voice. Definitely a 1-1 one -one counters list. Would absolutely love to get a uh, Skyclave Apparition after after we get a White Source here. <laughs> that is important. Um, all right, uh, we're not going to block. Just going to take it. Uh, kind of sad that we have to, but it is what it is. And still no land. Oh, no. Um, hmm. Let's play the Monk class. Uh, not super great for us, but we're we're still kind of in setup mode. Unfortunately, uh, we don't have a lot else we can do. <clears throat> hmm. Environmental science is coming down. It's gonna gain him a little bit of life, as well as get a uh, land from their deck. Um, so they're gonna throw that down. I'm sure. Uh, guys, I am really stoked for this new set. I hope that everybody else is because I do think it's a very, very interesting one. Uh, we're gonna see how it does, of course, as we go through. But I think we're gonna stick with standard for a little while. See what we can uh, put into play here. Interesting. Okay. Um. So this actually works pretty well. This cheapens up all the rest of our stuff. Uh, thanks to this. So that's gonna give us. Little extra power here. Uh, still not necessarily great, uh, but it is something, and we can actually then block here and then replay some of this stuff. So we'll we'll see. We will see. Um, chances are we're gonna get outpowered here, if I had to guess. Uh, but we're we're gonna give it the best shot we can. I believe in us. In terms of one target non-land permanent to its owner's hand, so we could bounce this token. Ooh, Grandmaster of Flowers. What a beautiful card. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. Gotcha. Uh, all right, we're going to go ahead and block this. Uh, we can play that, so it's actually not a bad thing for us that we, we did that. Um, hmm. All right, uh, we can do this. I think I kind of like doing this. Um, what do we want to send back is the question. I guess the aspirant, I'm not 100% sure on that. I'll be honest. Um, we can play this. That cheapens this up if we'd like. Um, No attacks, uh, and I think I am going to flash this out now. So the reason being, um, what I'd really like to make happen here is that we have a very nice like air assault uh, that we can just start attacking in and, and deal some damage. This is very much a ground-based deck, so they don't necessarily have a lot of flying uh, blockers. We'll see if it works. I have no idea, um, but we're going to do the best we can. I say that, and then they get this out. Um, 
They tap two creatures. Okay. That is very solid. Uh, interesting. All right. Well, let's hope we can do it. I don't know. I don't have high hopes. Uh, exile the top card for the first one. This card from exile. Okay, that's really cool. Uh, I'm all too happy to block here. It's gonna gain us a life and then also uh, allow us to play this back. There's another monk class. Uh, I do like that. Um, hmm. Let's do this. Let's do this. Again, this gains us more life than anything, so we're going to try and keep that going. Uh, let's attack both of these here. I'm going to block one of them, it looks like. This doesn't seem like a great card, I'll be honest, um, but that's fine. Monk of the open hand. Okay. So next turn, we can play the monk class, play the usher, uh, and then we might actually be doing okay here. We'll see. Uh, I'm very curious because this we're staying in this better than I thought we would, to be honest. Um, I'm really glad that we are, but it's very interesting. Um, let's see what we can do. All right, so they're going to nix one of these guys in terms of the damage that they can do. Uh, at some point, it is going to be like very necessary for us to just keep attacking them as well. But Oh, they're going to fight that off. That was an interesting choice. I wonder why they chose that and not the Geist. I feel like the Geist was maybe a better option. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Star Pupil. Very nice. Okay. Uh, so they do get an attack in here for four. I'm not going to do anything about it, of course. Um, all right. Uh, not bad. Another Usher. I will happily take that. Um... I mean, I think the play is just going to be to keep flooding the board here, right? Like, we just kind of have to. Uh, we can leave that up. Uh, I guess we don't have to attack with both, do we? Let's do this. It's going to take the Grandmaster out and give us a little bit of damage here. Now we have got some some big stuff that we can do uh i'm i don't know i'm not gonna speak too fast uh or too quickly because we very easily could still die here but i think we're hanging in there okay he says optimistically uh and again we can flash this out just to uh get some more damage in and i think i will all right it's a land, that's not super exciting, but it is what it is. Uh, let's play out this. Let's play out this. Uh, let's bounce something. Just gonna bounce that. Um, okay, attack, attack, attack. We did it. Holy crap, we did it. Okay, well, uh, that was really great. Also, look at this amazing uh, avatar. Guys, let's jump into game two. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I think this is a, a relatively easy keep. We do need another land or two, of course. We do have a Teferi we'd like to get down, um, but I think this is worth it. Now, last time we led on the veteran uh, to give ourselves as much uh, life gain as possible, I think we're gonna try and keep that going um alternatively you can usher attack in the following turn and then be able to just boast uh to not have to use up cards in your hand generally i find that play very very efficient but uh i do want to kind of give this a shot and just see what we can do like i said i'm going to lean a little more towards the new cards to kind of see how they play out um looks like we're against black white can a little concerning because they they are going to have a good bit of removal here's the vanishing verse no surprise there. They didn't wait until our turn, though, which is kind of interesting. I'm going to play this Clarion Spirit. Uh, just a nice, solid threat. Obviously something they're going to want to deal with. Um, and they do. That's fine. All right. Uh, they're down to two cards in hand, though, uh, which is quite nice for us. Uh, let's go ahead and throw this out. 
The Vanishing Verse did exile, by the way, so that's why we can't play that, obviously, from the graveyard. Oh, excuse me, guys, I had to burp there. Uh, Lunark Veteran. Okay. There's a white source. That's very good for us. Okay. Interesting. Um, hmm. So we've got some options here. Uh, we can just throw this out with the Usher, which I think is a fairly good play here, actually. Yeah, let's do that. We kind of want to set up defenses here before we throw that Teferi just out there. Um, and this gives us a little bit of uh, of play. We'll, we'll see. I mean, they certainly have removal. I'm sure they've got more. Um, but they've kind of very quickly used a lot of it, so I'm very interested to see how this goes. They might Geist, or kill the Geist here. Um, we did not leave up Spectral Adversary, obviously, so we don't have an option there, but any of these are scary cards for them, so they're going to hit the Flyer, that makes sense. And get in for an attack for two. Okay, uh, sure. Hmm. Um, I'm going to Rally. Uh, we're going to say Spirit. We're going to attack in here. So they're going to take that. I am going to throw out a little human here. And we get the attack in. Uh, I'm happy to kill this silencer more than anything. I'm expecting that we're going to need to one for one trade a little here. Uh, so I think that that's probably just fine. Um, hmm. All right, uh, well, first things first, we're obviously gonna attack in. This is gonna be difficult for us because it does provide them with a little of uh, the the scary stuff, but we're, we're gonna try and set up a turn here. We're gonna pass with that Spectral Adversary. Ooh, very nice. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. We're going to do this. We're going to pay one. We'll auto pay. Tap up to one other artifact. So let's tap this. Oh, does that not work? Oh, it phases it out, duh, of course. Um. So we can do this. Then we can do this. Um, submit zero. Sorry, guys. I'm very much thinking, obviously. Uh, <laughs> we'll untap this. It doesn't matter. All right, let's see what happens. This is interesting. Uh, Teferi's a very fun little card. I, I like that a lot. Um, we do have the Monk class here, so what we can do is uh, next turn we can level that up since we probably won't have much else we can do. If we draw a land, we do have the, the Cave of the Frost Dragon that we can activate, but as it stands now, we really can't. Um, so we will see. Ooh. Okay, uh, that's very scary. Non-legendary creature card. Yeah. All right, we did draw a land. Um, I think we're gonna do this. I'm gonna throw that back. Uh, we're gonna do this. Tap up to one artifact. Target up to one creature. And hmm. I guess we'll do this. Um, we can go ahead and do this just because. Uh, and I think we just attack again. We're pushing it. I, I don't think it's going to happen, but we're trying. Um, we've managed to stay in this, which is very surprising. Again, 
this is a very removal heavy deck, uh, but they're point and click removal. It doesn't seem like they've got many sweepers, which is great news for us uh, because it just means that they're not able to deal with everything all at once. Um, now that monk class is going to be very helpful because it obviously, uh, yep, it obviously gives us a little extra card advantage theoretically. Um, it's not a perfect system by any means, but uh, yeah, that's kind of a miss. Um, all right, so what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Um, can activate that. That's not very good. Can throw this at them. That's not very good. Or we can do this. So we really don't have a great play here. I think we just have to pass. We don't really have a good attack. The problem is this has double strike. Um, so that's kind of kind of scary. All of their deck seems to be double strike related. Um, Okay, let's hope we can get something to play here. Skyclave Apparition, that's a playable card. Um, four or less, huh? I'm gonna take this out, obviously. That's a scary card. Let's go ahead and play this. All right, uh, and I think again, no attacks. Oh, this is scary. I mean, our board presence is much scarier than theirs, but we this double striking angel is very frustrating because we don't actually have a way to kill it. Um, they're going to kill the monk class. At least we got some value off of it for the time being, so I'm okay with that. I mean, it's not great for us, but it's something, you know. What do we want? What would be good? Another monk class would be amazing. We can drop it and then immediately throw Angel back into their hand. Uh, that would be really, really good. Um, we might... I don't think we can get there next turn because they can kill some stuff here and that's the scary part. There's a Usher. Not super helpful. Um, hmm. All right, so what happens if we activate Frost and attack? So this is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That's 20 damage. They can block three things. That will go here for sure. This will go probably to one of these, and this will go to one of these. So that's going to take out 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 of the 20 damage. That's not enough to kill them. We're actually counting today, everybody. That's a weird thing to say, because I never do that. Um, <laughs> what did they name here, by the way? Skyclave Apparition. Okay, yeah, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. Um, we just don't have a good attack, uh, and this doesn't die if we attack, so it's, like, not great for us. Um, yeah, you got it. That's a heck of a play, because it definitely uh, wrecks us a little here. Stop. I don't want land. I don't need land. Um, I'm playing it solely because if we do draw a monk class, we can do something with it, or it's a fairy allows us to draw into our deck a little bit. This is a very stally game. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not super great. Um, I, I don't think we could have attacked. I just don't think we could have. Uh, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. We would have killed some of their stuff. But they really didn't even have to attack with everything. Maybe that was correct. I don't know. I really don't. Um, it might have been. That's okay. I mean, the good news is they are also stalled. <laughs> Not that that's necessarily amazing for it. I mean, amazing because long term, I think they have the better options here. All right, again, so if we attack in here... They block and kill one of these. The other one comes in. Dude, I don't know. We're in screw it territory, so I'm just going to do this. <laughs> this is not the right way to do this, by the way. Um, I did not activate the dragon either. That would have been proper to do, but it is what it is. I mean, they have to do some blocks blocking here. Like, no doubt. Sure. I don't know. Seems kind of worth it. 
They gain some life. They're up to six, but they're left with one blocker. Maybe we should have attacked a while back. That probably would have worked a lot better, but that's okay. We're gonna attack, gain some life. Yep. Gain some more life. But if they don't have anything, we win. Yeah, we should have attacked a while back. That was a mistake. Oh! Okay. Uh, interesting. I'm gonna hold on to this rally. Because we might want to play it for Dragon. Ah, oh, stop. Stop gaining life. <laughs> stop giving me land. Um... Yeah, we should have probably just done that, but that's okay. That would have been a two turn clock. Ugh, I miss playing so hard. What a game. What a silly, silly game. Yeah, I misplayed. We should have played this for Dragon. That would have put them down to four, which means the cave is actually lethal. Um, regardless, uh, the problem is this gives them an extra turn. Okay, that's super scary. Um, yeah. So now we're dead next turn. There's another cave actually, uh, but it comes into play tapped. <laughs> oh no. Where's Dragon? We're gonna name Dragon. Uh, they gain the life. Yeah, I mean, we're dead. What a game, though. We could have, I think, had it. Had I attacked in a lot sooner, we could have done it. Ugh, that feels bad. All right, I'm gonna concede. Let's jump into our third and final game, guys. Let's see if we can get another win. All right, guys, here we are. I can't believe I messed up that hard, but you know what? We'll get through it. We always do. Uh, let's go for this. This is a pretty easy keep. We can usher turn one which is fantastic. Uh, I really like this monk class in the deck, by the way. That's just really solid. Um, just does so much. Okay. Uh, let's do this and let's do this. I'm gonna try and get to where we can uh, activate a lot of second spell style things here. We also have the Geist coming down there next turn. Um, yeah, which I think is just better. We'll see. This is very cool, by the way. This card is like kind of sick, in my opinion. Oh. Um, no, I mean, we don't block, but we certainly could have. Um, let's do this. Let's Geist. This allows us to get both of these in here without taking too much of a loss if they do block. Um, yeah. That's just definitely the, the correct play, I think. Um, all right, well, we'll see what happens. If we get a land off the top, uh, we can theoretically do a good bit because we can cast two monk classes. Uh, now they're gonna get in for three here, but that's kind of fine. Uh, not gonna block. All right, cool, we did get a land. Uh, let's do this. Let's let's monk class. Uh, I'm gonna do this. We're gonna try and slow them down as much as we can here. Um, we get Nissa out of here. And we're gonna throw this down. Now, crucially, this didn't give us two spells for the the Clarion Spirit, so we didn't get a token there, but. Next turn, we might be able to get there. Um, in fact, we definitely can. We can monk class and then both of them make to fairy cheaper. So like that should work out okay uh, at the very least. There's a Skyclave apparition too. That's pretty good. Um, let's monk class. Let's to fairy. 
We're gonna save that apparition. We don't really need to play it yet, so... Um... Alright, um... We're gonna attack in here. If they want to double block on the Usher, they certainly can. Not gonna block at all. I like it. Um... Tap you, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll untap you. And we'll, I don't know, untap you just to represent something. It really doesn't mean anything, but that's fine. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm excited to see what this deck is going to do. I mean, they've got this giant behemoth thingy, uh, which is certainly scary. Um... But we did, we are going to kind of force them to make a decision here. Just come to exile that many target. Yeah, okay, that's fine. <laughs> really doesn't do anything to us at the moment. Um, all right, cool. Oh, and another land. Fantastic. Uh, hmm. Well, uh, that's level one. This is level two. Oh. Yay! <laughs> we did it! Uh, cool. All right, well, let's let's chat about this list. All right, Azorius Spirits, guys, is back uh, with Innistrad. I really liked that. I liked that quite a bit. Uh, I found myself thinking we had lost the game, and while we did lose one, I found we didn't... It, it, it kind of saved itself, if that makes sense. Like, we were able to kind of get some some wins that I didn't necessarily expect we were going to get. Um, and so I really like this. I highly recommend it. Um, I do recommend, you know, the meta is going to be shifting, obviously, a good bit over the next couple weeks here. Uh, so we're going to get a lot of new decks. We're going to get a lot of new strategies, things like that. I don't know where things are going to land. Spirits may be absolutely garbage in a couple weeks or even next week. Uh, but we're going to give it a shot. I, I like this. This one i'm gonna keep playing with it we're gonna see how we can do with it but regardless guys thank you so much for watching innistrad is here i am so stoked i hope you guys are as well but thank you all so much for watching please subscribe like the video if you enjoyed it and i will see you guys again soon for some more gameplay videos